we begin with the worst theme song of any show I've ever seen, and this feels like foreshadowing. The actual show starts off with them breaking the fourth wall in honor of black history. Smokey asks if this is like the Different Strokes episode when Dudley got diddled, and I'd rather do that episode than any episode of this show. Bender from Futurama plays Pops, and it is extremely distracting. That's legit how he sounds 24-7, which I can't see how that doesn't get old. Betty and Dana return home from the salon. It's Pops and Dana's anniversary, and Dana wants to go watch Medea. Pops reveals he got faded and X-rated with um Holiday from Holiday Heart. And I don't know what to do with that information. There's a terrible 50 cent joke. It's like a bad version of the Soul Plane trailer from the Boondocks. Somehow though, this came out like four months before that episode of Boondocks, so they definitely copied this. Pops talks about how immoral it is that the motion picture industry puts out negative images of black people, especially during Black History Month. At that moment, I had to look into the camera like The Office and consider deleting this review. They continue promoting a bunch of terrible black stereotypes, but luckily this came out in July, not Black History Month, so Pops is good. Bender starts off by telling the story of Crispus Attucks. He was the first person who was killed in the Revolutionary War. He was a runaway slave and he wasn't even from Boston. He was just stopping through and look what happened. As a Lakers fan, let me take this moment to shit on Boston. Black people gotta stay out of Boston. None of this is what Pops is saying. This is what I'm saying. What Pops ends up saying is that addicts went from Kunta to a gentleman, then some racist white dude threw a snowball and blamed Crispus. And then, you know, Revolutionary War. Craig calls him crispy and asks if he was in the riots, so his bum ass wasn't listening. Pops says we need to learn more than Martin Luther King got shot and Smokey didn't even know that much so funny jokes you know they're going somewhere listening to roots on tape and that's the funniest thing that's happened which i hate that i just had to say that sentence they pull up to burger shack's black history month fair pavilion pop says it has all black history from shackles to shav so i mean that's basically what they taught us in school you know 1492 ish to 1971 ish Sorry, I, I gotta try out some material. This show is not funny. I gotta try something. This random caricature walks up and tells them that Oprah's best friend Gail is coming through and Pinky starts trying to plot on her. The writing of this show is just so bad and disjointed and fast paced. They feel like one of my videos for 20 minutes and somehow my videos feel like they have a higher budget, but they don't, let me tell you that. They have Phil Lamar and Cree Summers and Bender and Aqualad from Young Justice. I am simply one singular flame emoji. Somehow Bender is the only man upset with all the shucking and jiving. And it's really weird being on his side. For some reason, he's the main character of this show. Bender's trying to wake everyone up to do black history, but he can only get Craig and Smokey, who is in his own house, so Pops had to break in for it. He tells the story of Grandpa Ephraim, and Craig describes him as someone who makes waitresses go in his pocket for tips. They go back to civil rights time, and Ephraim joins the NAACP to holler at women. He starts trying to bag Rosa Parks, and he says he wants to get hoes down together, then take their clothes off. She runs away. He talks to her with dog feces on his boots. I I'm about to run away. This is the worst anything I've ever seen. Rosa Parks ends up getting arrested because she wouldn't sit next to Ephraim. Pops explains, think about it. Because your grandfather was constantly spitting weak ass game, we're able to live in a society that treats all people on a level playing field, except when they need a loan, education, or hurricane relief. He forgot to include quality entertainment. Craig gets it now. History is living. Past may seem far back, but in reality, we're experiencing history. They don't say it like that, but somebody has to make this video cohesive. They go to the museum and it's March 1st. It's not Black History Month, whatever. Zero in every category. I don't even usually add a score. This is my first score. You can note that. Zero. 